Hey guys, this lesson's on some electric potential drop thing, kind of uh, just uh, kind of important concepts and stuff. So I've got a couple examples, so let's run through them real quick. So let's look at this first one. Um, basically, we have a capacitor here, and for these first two, we want to figure out, we want to learn uh, why or um, how do we know if the potential is positive or negative. So the easiest way to do this is if uh, we look at the electric field of the capacitor. So since the negative is pointing this way and we know negative is pointing uh, this way and positive points this way, I mean uh, points away from it. So the electric field of the capacitor is going to be this way. And since the electric field or the, um, the electric potential is um, negative, or not negative, I should say, um, takes into account the electric field and is negative towards it, then whenever it's acting against the electric field, then it's going to be positive. So, I guess I should label this as electric field, and this is electric potential. So, whenever we, uh, whenever they are uh, counteracting each other, then the potential is going to be positive. So, in this case, it's positive. In this one, we have a rod, and this rod is negatively charged. So, uh, we know that since the rod is uh, negatively charged, that the electric field is going to be pointing towards it. And since the electric field and the path are pointing are pointing the same direction, then the V is going to be negative. Sorry, this isn't a V. This is actually X. This is like the path traveled. And if the path traveled is against the electric um, field, then it's positive. And if it's toward the electric field, or in the same direction as the electric field, then it's negative. And uh, that's how we know that. So we have this other uh, thing that is kind of a loop. And um, what we know about uh, these loops is that the sum of uh, the, all the potential differences along, along a round trip must be zero, which is called the loop rule, essentially. So, um, to figure out a problem like this, uh, we just add all these up. Since this is 8, uh, 8 plus negative 2 plus negative 16, it's going to equal negative 10. So, your answer for this, I mean, not negative 10, it will just be 10 volts. And that's just how you figure out a problem like that. So uh, if you guys have any uh, other questions, uh, please send me a message, and I'll get back to you really quickly. I'll see you next lesson.